So, spring is here and summer is near. So I found seven fragrances in my collection that I think will work great for the spring and the summer. I've got the fragrances. I'll tell you in just a minute what occasions I think these seven fragrances best fit for this spring and the first part of the summer. That means meet me on the other side of this intro. Or for those of you who used to play in backyard football, that mean cut anyway. So cut. See you in a second. What's going on, everybody? You guessed it. It is your boy trey sense and we got a little bit of a video a little bit of a discussion you know how we do it here on the channel before we get into this little review of this little discussion got something i need from you i need you to like this video i need you to share this video because sharing is caring and it's very important and i need you to consider if i have earned it giving your boy a sub and with that being said i'd also like to thank you for all returning to the scene of the crime now no further ado what you came for. Let's get into it. Seven fragrances in my collection that I think are absolutely perfect for the spring and the summer time of the year. Now, we're here, we here in the South are spoiled because it's gonna be 80 something degrees here in a couple of days. That's the Southeast for you. That's Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Georgia, Texas, Tennessee, parts of Kentucky. That's, you know, that's what we get. Arkansas, did I say Louisiana? I think we traded Louisiana. I think we gave Louisiana away. Mississippi, but you know, I think we gave Mississippi away too. Just kidding. But anyway, it gets hot. It gets hot. But the nights and the evenings still are a little cool. So you got a little audition, a little date you're going to go on. If you have this in your repertoire, or if you see this out, I think it makes a nice, sexy, romantic little date night fragrance. And not a lot of people are talking about it. And it is from the house of guests and it is Don Cornelius' Guess Gold. I'm just kidding, it's Guess Gold. Great smelling little fragrance, very clean, but at the same time, very sweet, very modern, very soft, subtle projecting fragrance. It's one of those that hangs around for a long time and it's, it's not a loud, obnoxious fragrance. It's very smooth, very subtle, very sexy, and very romantic. Now, these are all my opinions, you know what I mean? They're all my opinion, but this is absolutely something that I would wear on a date. And again, keep in mind, we've had this um, discussion before. I try to bring out fragrances that you may have in your collection or that you may see out somewhere that are very inexpensive, um, just to bring some attention to them, shed some light on them because they smell good and not everybody wants to spend 75, 100 to 150 dollars on a fragrance. I found that there are a lot of people that still want to spend 15 to 30 dollars and you can absolutely do that and still smell good. Guess gold is one of them. And to me, this is a pretty good little fragrance. It's got a little bit of that um uh Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce vibe to it just a little bit, but it's way, way sweeter. But nonetheless, great smelling little fragrance. I think good for a date night. Now, we all like to go on dates or whatever, but sometimes we just have to go take care of some business. You're running errands, running to the barber shop or down by the car wash, just going to pay some bills or whatever. A fragrance that I think would be great for one of those warmer spring days. And again, we're talking, we're going from the spring into the summer. A great fragrance that you can wear anytime it's hot out. Nothing about this fragrance is nighttime. It's definitely a daytime fragrance from the house of Zara, and it is Zara's summer collection. And I absolutely love this fragrance. Big shout out to the homie, to the friend, Mr. Lamar Gadsden, who I keep trying to tell he needs to do this and be on this side of the camera because the boy is bad when it comes to fragrances and finding abstract fragrances and he thinks he can barbecue because they for some reason they think they can cook ribs up in St. Louis but I don't know. Now about this fragrance Summer Collection is the perfect name for this. It's almost like they took all of the things that make you think of summertime and put it in a bottle. 
like citruses and fruits and, and, and it just reminds you of sitting on the patio drinking a mojito or drinking just a nice cold drink with the umbrella in it and I mean it's just it's just refer, uh, refreshing. Wore this to work the other day and this is one of those fragrances I walk in instant compliments. What are you wearing? That smells good. What is that? Everybody wants to know. What is that? What What is that? What What is that? Great smelling fragrance and I think it smells good because it's just one of those that you just it's, I don't want to use the word dumb reach, but it's just got this scent to it that just makes you just, it just makes you just lighten up, brighten up, brighten up. And you could also use this fresh out of the shower, but to me, it's just one of those easy wears. I'm not doing anything specific or anything important today, but I have to smell good because I'm Trey Sense. That's what I do. So grab it, spray it and go. And it smells good for the type of fragrance that it is. Summer collection says it all, but the type of fragrance that it is, it, it lasts a decent amount of time. You're going to get four and a half, five, maybe six hours of longevity out of it with a good hour and a half projection, which is about all you can ask for with the fragrance name, Summer Collection. And this is one I don't think you'll be able to, man, this smells good. I don't think you'll be able to pick this up in rag stores. This is one you'll definitely have to get from Zara. Uh, so check out Zara and pick it up. I know Lamar and I have talked about it and it's always one of those places if you got coupons or codes or whatever, you can get fragrances sometime for as low as $10. Summer collection from Zara, pick it up. I'll tell you what that is similar to. So if you have it, you may not want to get it. The Mercedes Benz Cologne, the uh, Jimmy Choo Man Isis, um, the Dior, uh, Home, Dior Home Colognes, similar. That same type of citrus, not quite as lemony to the front you know what i'm saying it's it's more of a of a mixed drink as opposed to a lemonade type of drink how about that try that on you want to smell like that you want to walk around smelling just fresh ain't nobody dope as me you know i will break out in song in a minute okay this next one is one of my favorite fragrances it's one of my best looking bottles in my collection it is from the house of john varvetos and this is john varvetos artisan aqua man and i love this for and that bottle is beautiful for those of you who have not seen the john barbados bottle and i picked these up at the rack stores and they were still selling these at the mall for close to 100 bucks and i think i got in for about 25 uh and i want to say i got it during the christmas holidays one year completely out of season and it came with a little travel itemizer but nonetheless proud to have this in my collection now why do i think you should get this on skin now because we all know John Varvedo's, man, this smells good. John V fragrances are not known for their performance. So this is one that will make you want to wear it in the high heat when you take your summer vacation down to Biloxi Beach or Panama City Beach or Orange Beach or wherever you go to the beach. It'll make you want to wear it then because it's got that tropical, masculine, woody almost like it wants to go spicy fresh aquatic -y. it looks just like you would think it does looks like good water in that bottle um here's the problem it's gonna evaporate in that high high heat so if you wear it now where the sun isn't quite as punishing as it's going to be where the temperatures are like i said dipping in that high in that mid mid to high 80s but the humidity and all that stuff has not kicked in at least not here in alabama yet I know my peeps out in Texas, it's a little bit thicker out there, but now Alabama's humidity comes in, in June, July, and August, but right now it's still very pleasant. So that's why I would wear this if I were going to go grab a couple of drinks and go sit out on the patio and, you know, chop it up, yada, 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 woo, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is one I would reach for because that breeze is going to hit it and it's going to smell good. All right, again, this is one if you were going to run some errands or just, you know, nothing specific definitely would not dress it up but i would definitely if i was wearing a button-down shirt or a nice polo and some khakis definitely definitely would wear this fragrance <sighs> man and i have worn this in the hottest part of the day because it just smells good it just doesn't last that long in the hottest part of the day you'll be lucky to get four hours but i feel like if you wear this now and you wear it 
in, in the evening as the sun is setting, I think you're gonna create a nice little ambiance and be just smelling amazing. And, and I think you're gonna love the way that you smell. John Barbados Artisan Aqua, or Artisan if you fancy. This next one is one I have not had very long. And <clears throat> to me, <clears throat> <clears throat> little DJ Cool going on. Let me clear my throat. Y'all don't know about DJ Cool. Um, from the house of Bulgari. And it is Glacial Essence. That is a funny word to say. This one is not one I, ha I have had very long in my repertoire. But I like it. To me, this is the definition of cool, fresh, and clean, and crisp. I like it. And this is one that's it it almost wants to go dressy it almost gives you the vibe of this is like a dressed up citrus type fragrance but then again it kind of comes back still leans casual maybe more dress casual again like i said a nice pair of slacks and a nice you know long sleeve button down shirt some shoes and i think you're in the game with this one now i'm not saying that this is a dressy fragrance but I'm just saying it 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 teeters it walks up to dressy and kind of taps it on the cheek and then kind of falls back a little bit or at least that's my interpretation of it it smells really really good and this is one I think you can wear in the hottest part of the day and it's got this cooling effect that I think would go good in the evening would I wear this on a date I would I would but um wouldn't be a first date this is not a first impressions type of cologne it's one of those, maybe you got a little mix or something to do. Maybe you're just hanging out with somebody, you know, but as you're hanging out, you got some stuff to do. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I got to run by Berlin saying, I run here, or you want to come? That type of fragrance. You know what I mean? It's, it's not sexy. It's not romantic, but it does smell good. And the thing about fragrances that I think all of us underestimate is that central, bro. That central. There's nothing like walking by somebody, or at least for me, walking by somebody. When you get them, and, so, and, and that's the one thing that we underestimate about fragrances. And not everybody's gonna say, hey, you smell good, or what's that fragrance? Now there are some that are bold and will do that, but there are some that are just sniff and look at you like you're crazy. So, but nonetheless, this is one of those, again, we're talking about the spring. You know, we're talking about the summer. Spring in Alabama is very breezy, it's, and I love it. I love a nice, pretty, breezy day. To me, those are the days I just like to sit out on the patio and just feel it. And those are the days that that cologne, those fragrances get in the wind and just get like like Penelope do uh, Pepe. You know, the, the, the trail get in the air. And now, me personally, no, I'm gonna leave that alone. I ain't going there. Sometimes, y'all, I'll be about to say stuff and then I have to realize that I can't really, I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I have to reel it back in. But nonetheless, Bagari's Glacial Essence. Another very good scent. It's cool and refreshing like this one, but this one is just relaxed and not dressy. Again, this one is one that a good spring or summer wedding I think you could wear this too. I think, it's, especially if it was an outdoor wedding in one of those that, as you know, everything today is super, super casual. I think this would be just fine. Glacial Essence. I got three more. This is one I have hyped to the heavens and back because I think it is a beautiful fragrance. Be careful when you buy this one though. And be sure you get the night version. It is from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch, and it is Authentic Nights. Authentic Nights, not Authentic. Authentic, I think, is a another, imagine this, Creative Ventus Cologne. Clone. This one, my goodness. This is just a very unique fragrance to me. Why? Because it's got some 540, some Percival, and some um, fierce all rolled into one. And I paid, I think, $35 for this fragrance. And not only that, the bottle to everything about this, I know Aber is a is a, um, a a designer house, but to me, everything about this fragrance says niche. 
To me, this screams niche. Now, that's just my opinion. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I love the magnetic cap, but that scent profile of this, to me, this is a more masculine, less unisex, more wearable version of Bach 540. Now, that's just my opinion. I don't think that there's anybody that would smell this on you and think he's wearing a $30 fragrance because it doesn't smell like a watered down weak clone. This sucker right here, I'm telling you guys, listen to me now, believe me later on. And this to me is absolutely dressy. It's absolutely a date night fragrance, compliment getter, conversation starter. Um, just an outstanding fragrance outstanding fragrance as a matter of fact i've got some kids that i work with that are about to graduate and i'm teeter-tottering on what to get them for graduation because you know trey love the kids gotta get them something right and if i if i could get all the guys a bottle of this if i could find it i could always order it but you know i like ordering stuff out in a while and could get it at the right price i would absolutely buy this because i mean to me it's just it's just a good sexy fragrance Abercrombie and Fitch authentic nights occasions date night um, semi-formal wedding um, mm, definitely a first date it's just you know just any occasion where you wanted to put on some nice clothes because I'm in my in my middle 40s so any any reason to have to put on some nice clothes now I like you know what I mean it's like you know they Let's go do some, you know, go do some dirty and call it clean, as my boy Marvell says. But so, and this is definitely one I would reach for. So, if you're looking for a nice, well-rounded, dressy fragrance that smells modern, smells good, and works good in the the cool summer nights, spring nights, or the hot summer days, give this one a try. Abercrombie and Fitch Authentic Nights, and I have talked about that fragrance and talked about it, talked about it, talked about it because I think it smells good. One, they got a lot of hype and then it just disappeared and people don't talk about it anymore. Uh, I guess because it's cheap and the hype train is left, but people love this house. The house, if you fancy, is Mont Blanc. If you country like me, it's Mont Blanc. And it is Star Walker, the EDP or Star Walker Extreme. <sighs> And Star Walker is a legend in the game. And I think, I think the mistake that people made with this fragrance, in my opinion, is comparing it to Star Walker. You can't. Star Walker is a cheapy legend. It, its jersey is retired. It's in the cheapy Hall of Fame. Everybody that's ever collected an inexpensive fragrance has Star Walker for a reason. Now, you smell Star Walker and then you smell this and you're just like, well, it's not as good. Okay, stop, don't compare it. I mean, don't don't compare it. You don't eat KFC chicken and then take a bite of the biscuit and be like, the chicken is good, but the, the biscuit ain't supposed to taste like the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Same thing here. Yes, I understand it's a flanker, but still. To me, this one is a nice nighttime. If I find a place to spray. Nighttime, evening time, Netflix and chill, cuddle up and chill, or let's go, you know, throw a blanket on the ground at the park and you know, watch the ducks taste the little chillings around. What you know, whatever, just you know, whatever you're doing. That smells good. That smells good. Light jacket, maybe a hoodie, you know, type of jam going on here. Just a nice close encounter type of scent. It's not not too, too loud, but if you overspray it, I could imagine it would get very, very loud. But to me, it's just smooth, dark, woody. I think extreme, maybe not so much, but again, the, I think the Parfum version, what am I trying to say? I think if you're going, and I know I just said don't compare it to the OG, and I still say that, but if you're going to, then think of this one as the EDP compared to the EDT. Because it's, to me, it's just rich, warm, sexy, smooth. And I think I'm going to wear this to work because I got to go to work here in just a little bit. I think I'm going to make this my scent of the night for work. Oh, man. It just smells good. It, it really does. For the price that you're going to pay for this, which is around $25, I really don't think you can go wrong with this. 
I really don't. And especially for you people up there in Connecticut, like my boy Sam Broom, uh, up there in Virginia, you know, like my boy Razor Ray, <clears throat> where the evenings are still pretty, pretty cool, pretty chilly. Pick this up if you see it at your local Ross or somewhere, because you still got a few weeks to wear it. Still got a few weeks to wear it. Even me down here in, in, in Alabama, where it gets hot, I still have a few weeks to, pick, to put this on and spray it. Star Walker Extreme. Last but not least, again, say you're going on a day date, or you're just out running errands, or you're kicking it with your homeboys, or just whatever. You're going to be around a lot of people like my boy JP and his wife, always going out with other couples, entertaining. Same thing with Manny and his wife. They're always, you know, doing stuff. Let's say you got a little day date plan where you got just a little outing. You know, y'all just going to go down to the to the Mexican restaurant and, you know, dance, whatever you're going to do. This fragrance right here, I think, fits that occasion well and non unsolicited compliments. And it is Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Um, little bit of an Invictus vibe to it as I find a place to spray it. But it is so bright. Spirit is a great name for this fragrance. And I do, I do like this. I do like this fragrance a lot. This is one of the fragrances that <laughs> unsolicited compliments and people were, were talking, you know, as if I'm like not standing there. I was at the doctor's office and I walked by two ladies and one of them looked at the other one and said, ooh, he smell good. I wonder what that is. I need to get that from my husband. It does smell good. Then same day, I swung by Burlington and went in there to pay for something else that I had found and you smell good. What is that? I'm about to tell my brother-in-law about that. He's in the fragrances. So I not only plug the fragrance, I plug my channel. Tell him to go watch your boy Trey Sense, but Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Again, I just realized there was two fragrances on here from Mont Blanc. I did not realize that when I sat down to grab these fragrances. But again, springtime into the summer. To me, it's, it's festive if we're going to shoot pool, you know, maybe going to the bowling alley, you know, something just light, fun, energetic, spirited. I think that spirit is a great name for this fragrance. Maybe you gotta go, you know, watch TJ chase butterflies in the outfield. I think they call it baseball, but you know, we all see that one kid and ain't paying no attention to the game. He got his glove on his hand and his hat, you know, on his head, chasing the butterflies with his glove or with the hat or whatever. You know, you're out there in the left field, no action. If you gotta go to a game or something like that, or soccer, whatever it is, you know, you know, whatever, you gotta watch your little one go kick the soccer ball, man, spray on something like this and let that breeze catch you. Let it come off your skin. Wonderful, wonderful fragrance. And all of these are inexpensive, won't cost you much at all. I'm pretty sure you can get every last one of these under $30, with the exception of Bulgari, with the exception of the uh, Glacial Essence. I'm not sure about that one. The rest of them, I know you can pick up for under $30, and I'm pretty sure you can get the Bulgari as well. Just don't know what size. But all of these fragrances, I think, are great for the spring transitioning into the summer, and I think you're going to smell good and keep some of this in your pocket, because that's the bottom line. You don't have to spend a lot of money to smell like you did, and nobody really knows the difference. Got it in, got it in. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel too. We're working hard to keep pushing forward and bring you new stuff. Now, with that being said, you already know you boys got to get off, edit, thumbnail it, blah, 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 do all that boring stuff that y'all don't want to hear nothing about. So if you stuck around to this point, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna get off of here. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. I love you all and God bless you all. And we'll see you in a couple of days. Peace.